Hey family, happy Friday. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I missed you all so much. I'm so excited to be back with a Dollar Tree haul, my first Dollar Tree haul of the new year. If you have been following my channel for a while, you probably noticed I have not been posting a Dollar Tree haul the last few weeks on Friday. And that's because my family and I all um, came down with COVID, so I could not go shopping at Dollar Tree for obvious reasons, but we are all doing well. We have all recovered, um, thankfully. So thank you all so much that reached out to offer your support and prayers. I appreciate you all so much. But back to the Dollar Tree haul, you guys, this is massive because I wasn't able to go into the store for three weeks. So it's a long one. <laughs> so grab a beverage, grab a snack, you know the drill. Let's go ahead and get into this haul. And I would like to say that we're going to be all over the place in this haul. I have some crafting items. I have some makeup items, um, some home decor, just random finds because I kind of went crazy in the store after not being able to go for a few weeks. So I was, I just was throwing stuff in the cart, you guys. So all right, so let's go ahead and dive in to bag number one. I feel like this bag, this first bag, and I have four, um, is going to be the most random things. I feel like I didn't have a category for them, so I kind of just threw them in there. But anyways, coffee, because adulting is hard. It is a glass. I think it's glass. Let me actually open it up. It feels, no, it's not glass. Okay, so it's just a cute little wooden sign with this metal it's actually wood but it looks like it's metal but of course you could diy this but i plan on leaving it just how it is and putting it next to my coffee bar these i feel like are going to go super fast this year for easter decor these moss bunnies so it looks like you get three in there two are laying down one is standing up, so I snagged two of them. They definitely have not had these out at Dollar Tree before. Um, and I think this is the only item that I got that was Easter in here, I think, if I can remember correctly. Um, but those are going to go super fast. I already know it. It's going to be a very sought-after DIY item. I think this is probably my most favorite find. These mason jar hanging lid toppers I got I think I got six of them yeah so you have this star design on this one so you just put it on a standard mason jar and you can hang them up so you can put maybe candles for your patio in them you could hang flowers in there but yeah I got six of them I figured the star ones would look really cute for 4th of July. Maybe I could paint the lids. But I found these on a clip strip in the glassware aisle. My Dollar Tree started putting out their gardening supplies as well. And I was really excited to find these plant clips. And you get 20 clips in, in here. So you have a smaller size and a large size. And I am so excited about these because I have a ton of plants in my garden that need a little bit of support and I'm just over using the little twist ties to stake them up so I was really excited about that. I grabbed some of these metal S hooks to be able to hang um, some things on my patio. LA's Totally Awesome, I think, came out with a new cleaner. It's this grill and oven cleaner. I don't know. It looks new, and I really like LA's Totally Awesome, um, like their multi-purpose spray. So I thought I would try this out. And it's quite a large bottle. You get 40, 40 fluid ounces in there. So I never found the... Christmas soaps that I was really wanting to get, but I did find these super cute hand soaps and fruits. So you have watermelon, lemon, and orange. I have not smelled them yet, but I'm definitely going to be putting these out in the summertime in um, my guest bathroom. I just think they're so fun 
and festive. And I love how they have um, a different lid color as well. And how cute are these, you guys? Random item of the haul, I picked up this unicorn tape dispenser for my daughter so she will quit stealing tape out of my desk. Um, and so she can have her own um, cute little tape dispenser for her crafts. So speaking of my daughter, her birthday's coming up in February. So I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of birthday party supplies in the, I guess, birthday section of Dollar Tree. And I love decorating for my kids for their birthday. Even if we don't have a big party, we're just planning on having um, just my family over for her birthday. But I love decorating at night so that when they wake up in the morning, that's what they see. It's makes it just makes them feel special so um anyways the theme of her birthday she likes unicorns mermaids and kitty cats so that's what i'm doing i'm just making a magical i guess fantasy birthday but let me stop rambling and show you guys what i got so for that theme i found this banner we love mermaids I got a lot of banners. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but I have a huge tub of birthday party supplies in my garage. So if I don't, whatever I don't use will go into that to be used for another party. Then I found this happy birthday letter banner. So you could make one of these with your Cricut, but how awesome is it that Dollar Tree already has it done? And I think there was gold as well. I think I just grabbed silver, though. She will be turning five, so I found this gold balloon, this 14-inch balloon, and you just use the straw and blow it up. I like to make um, the balloon towers or arches for my kids, so that will probably go on top of that. I found these really cute ice cream cones. And I only found blue, but I really want to see, um, to go back and see if they have maybe pink or purple at another store. So got those. I found this chair cover for her when we sing happy birthday. She has her own cute little chair. And I think, um, so here's what it looks like. I'm sorry. So how cute is that? I love Dollar Tree for party supplies. I found this unicorn banner. So cute. Just gonna love that. I got mermaid plates in the large and small size. You get 18 in the large and 20 in the small. I found this glitter candle in gold. They also had a silver. In the number five I love this I love how they did like sparkly and then just plain gold at the top I got another banner in pink and gold and it comes with a little string to hang it up I also bought a white and a gold one um, I'm not sure where I put it but I there is one available in white and gold as well and then for her balloon arch I just picked up these latex balloons with the really pretty um, dots on it. Picked up those. And this is a new item I'm really excited about. Um, I'm not sure how well it works, but you have these balloon glue dots. So I'm interested to see how these work. You just peel off the adhesive tape, put the glue on the balloon, and you can like stick it on the wall. So that might be helpful with my balloon arch. I usually just take a Dollar Tree weight and some ribbon and kind of twist tie them around and to stacks of four and it holds up well that way. And the last party supply stuff I picked up were a bunch of these vase fillers. Now I'm not necessarily going to use um, all of these colors for her birthday. I might use maybe like this rainbow one and maybe like the fuchsia color, but I just wanted to show you guys all the different options that I found. The black and red would be really cute for Valentine's Day as well. 
and they even have the table scatter or the vase filler in um, the baby section. That's where I found this blue and silver one. I just realized I forgot to show you guys the bag I was holding all the stuff in, which is also from Dollar Tree. I love this, the true original Mickey Mouse, and it just has his, I guess, changes over time, how he's kind of evolved. And I just thought this was so sweet. This would be perfect um, if you're going on vacation um, to maybe Walt Disney World. I know Disneyland is closed right now, but, um, or on a Disney cruise, this would be super cute to carry with you. And then I just have some random things that I found for crafting. I found these graphite pencils and watercolor pencils in the um, stationary aisle. So I'm interested to see how well these work out. I definitely needed some graphite um, pencils. I'm, I think all pencils are you know, lead graphite um but I definitely needed some of these for sketching so I went ahead and picked up those I also got some of these daubing sponges these are perfect for stencils I, I like using these when I make a stencil with my Cricut this was really sweet I found this little notebook in the stationery section and it looks like a little traveler's notebook. It has the same concept. You can slide these out. And I mean, obviously it's smaller than a traditional traveler's notebook, but I thought that was so cute. I love it. So picked up that. All right, moving on to bag number three. I have this ginormous tote full of stuff. So I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm talking fast. I'm trying to get through this. <laughs> this video's not super long. Um, I found these hats. These are perfect Cricut blanks if you own a Cricut and I love the back of them. I like how it's adjustable and they seem to be very nice quality. They are by the brand Anvil. So that's on the inside and of course you don't have to um, Cricket these or decal them or whatever. You could just wear them plain with a cute outfit. So I picked up those. All right, so now let me show you guys what I picked up for Valentine's Day for crafting. I've actually been crafting at my desk for the past few days, working on Valentine's Day DIYs for you guys and I should have that video out for you hopefully by the end of the weekend I'm not sure yet because I, there's still a few things that I want to add to that video but I have a ton of things filmed and I'm so excited to share that with you but let me show you um, what else I plan on using for DIYs I don't know if these will be in that video because I already have I think like 10 or 11 DIY DIYs filmed for that but I picked up these baby blankets in the baby section and I thought they could be used to maybe make a pillow out of because they're pink and they just remind me of Valentine's Day. So I picked up two of those. I found this super cute mailbox with the Dash Hound and the Corgi on it. And even the flag is a little piece of mail. And I just thought this was so cute. I'm not going to DIY this. This is actually for my daughter. I like to make a pancake breakfast every year for my kids on Valentine's Day. And I give them little gifts. So I plan on putting um, her little gifts in there. Here's the other banner. <laughs> the other happy birthday banner. Um, it is gold and has... The string on it and another idea you could do use these for is to make something completely different you can use Dollar Tree stickers and just flip it over and put whatever you want it to say on there and then for my son I found this heart tin I love you so much with the sloths on it and yeah the inside's just the gold on the inside I picked up some gift bag tissue or gift tissue and these were the prints that I found. I love these hearts on there. It looks like they're hand drawn. And then I found this one. 
And I like to use these not only for um, like fillers for your gift bags, but also to use for decoupaging with some Mod Podge. I love doing that. Mm. All right, I'm back. I had to grab a beverage. I was feeling very parched. Parched, is that the right word? Yes. Anyways, let me show you guys some new fabric rolls that I found by Crafters Square. I'm going to open them up real quick so you guys can see them, but I was so excited to find these. I never, I never score on the fabric, but you have this really cute one that looks like dandelions on it. And I'm not sure how, how many, if you get a yard in here, so it's 20 by 21 inches. So not a lot, but you could still make really cute crafts with these. So I found that print then for Easter. I found this really sweet bunny print. How cute are those? This one is probably my favorite um, from what I can see when it's rolled up. But oh my gosh, you guys, look at the little van. It's so cute. Oh, I love this. I should have grabbed two of those. And then this one reminded me of fall because of all the little woodland animals on it. So cute. And then this one with the berries and plants on it. So cute. So super excited to find those. Okay. Those weren't necessarily Valentine's, but back to Valentine's Day stuff. I picked up these paper doilies in pink and white. And I think, yeah, I got, I got the smaller sizes as well. I think I got red, but guys, let me show you all my crafts in here um, that I just throw into Ziploc bags. So I did haul the felt hearts, which is like one of my favorites um dollar tree valentine's day crafting supplies and these little stick on felt hearts are also um one of my favorites i used them in a ton of diys and then more of those um base fillers anyways i know i, I said i wasn't going to show you guys that stuff but i had to and then i picked up more of these heart picks love using these as well this one is different. I haven't seen this one before, but how cute are those? I think I want to make some um, Cupid's arrows with a few of those. This sign is out again this year, and I know it was out last year because I actually made a sign um, with it with my Cricut. So I made a Cupid's coffee sign last year for my coffee bar. So I plan on um, making another sign um, this year. And I plan on filming it. I started a new series on my channel called I Love My Cricut. Um, so if you're a beginner or new to Cricut, the Cricut community, or if you just got one for Christmas, I highly recommend you hit that subscribe button and um, follow along with that series because I'm going to be doing a ton of different Cricut crafts and creations um, with that series. Another item that I'm super excited to find, or items I should say, is this truck and trailer. I didn't think I was going to find these because um, I couldn't go to the Dollar Tree for a couple weeks and I noticed that these um, were out and I didn't expect to be able to find them. Um, I thought I was a little bit late to the game, but I did and I can't wait to um, put these up in my decor. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint them or anything like that. I think they're really cute as is. I found some really cute bags and what I love the most about these, and hear me out, is there's not a fleck of glitter on any of them. So I'm really excited about that, but I love the gold foiling on these. This one looks like it's almost like balloons floating up. And then this one, and it looks like on the sides, it's the same pattern for all of these. And then you have this one, which kind of, I don't know, it's very masculine looking to me. Like I feel like this would be a cute um, gift bag to use to give my husband 
a gift in. So you could also do different DIYs with these as well. Cut them out, put them in a frame or use them in um, your planners. You could make a planner cover or a journal cover out of them. So I don't just use gift bags for um, gifts. I also use them for crafting. And then I found this three pack of smaller bags. So really cute. This one just says Happy Valentine's Day on it. And I'm really loving pink this year. Um, for Valentine's Day. I definitely have made some DIYs using red as well, but I'm really loving pink. Found more doilies, pink ones. I got this berry garland, and they also have this available in white and red as well, and I love that they're bringing this in to Valentine's Day because I know um, during Christmas they had it out, but I love that they're making one ones for Valentine's Day. I got some of these conversation hearts, these stick on conversation hearts. My daughter loves um, to craft with these for Valentine's Day. That's what she did last year. I got these wooden cutout hearts. You get five in there. You can make your own banner, maybe cut something out with um, your Cricut, paint them, and sorry guys, I'm just, like trying to hurry and show you guys things really fast because this video is going to be way too long. I found some um, decorative shred or basket fillers in red and gold for a gift basket, and then speaking of gift baskets, I found this really cute bucket. You could also paint this and maybe drill some holes in the bottom and turn it into a planter. I think that would be a really cute idea, but you could also make a gift basket out of that. And I actually picked up four of these wooden decor pieces. I love, I love the saying on it, you are my person, but I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of some DIYs that I did for that video coming out. I actually painted, turned them around and painted over them and then turned them into conversation hearts with my Cricut. So I still have to do this one, but I just wanted to show you guys like, or give you an idea of what you can do with these. I'm not sure how this item ended up in this bag because um, I'm not using it for crafts. I actually needed some of these um, because I'm making those kebabs to put on the grill with veggies and chicken and stuff. But you could also use these for crafting. All right, we are getting down to the end of this haul. I just have a few more Valentine's Day things to show you and then some really cool makeup finds. I found this wooden decor piece. They also had one that said love as well, so I picked that up. And then this blank wooden um, piece that you can DIY. I found some really cute socks. Love the flamingos. I picked these up for myself. Um, and then the french fry, what does it say, you complete me on there, french fries and ketchup. And I don't even like ketchup but I thought this was cute. I found some more crafting ribbon. So I love this one, this you are my person with the truck. And then um, you have your like picnic checkered pattern. And then this one, it looks like it's just um, little hearts on there. So I picked up those. I was really excited to find these cupcake felt stickers. I want to use these to make bows for my daughter. I like making her own um, little bows for different holidays and seasons. So I usually just like hot glue these to a little alligator clip and then use the ribbon from Dollar Tree and make her cute, fun, and festive bows. And then I found this decor piece with a ton of glitter. So definitely hairspray it. I'm trying to keep it from twisting, but I think you guys, I think you guys get the, the gist of what I'm trying to show you. 
but super cute. You could definitely cut these off, put them in, around a wreath to decorate. And the very last Valentine's Day item I found was this really cute bucket that says Cupid's Corner on it. This would be really cute in a bathroom to put maybe little hand towels, roll them up in there. Um, maybe if you are good at that, you can make a hand towel into a rose. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I don't know. Maybe hold your toilet paper rolls in it or something like that. All right, guys, the very last items of this video are some makeup and beauty items. I know it was a super long video. Leave me a, a chicken emoji if you made it to the end of the video. Um, but I scored on some Wet n Wild products. So I found these lip and eye duo sticks. So some of them are, they're calling them lip and eye wands. So this is like a lip wand and it has two different um, sides to it. So you have this side, which is like your liner and then your color or your lip crayon. So lip wands, and then the and then the eye wands and they come in the same kind of packaging um, but it's the same concept and here are all the different colors that i found and more wet and wild products that i found were these lip crayons velvet matte lip lip colors so i was so excited to find these products at my dollar tree I love it when I can find name brand um, beauty products that I buy at places like Walmart in the Dollar Tree for $1. So I found this eyeliner in the color Violet Offender. Violet Offender, okay. And I can't believe I found a five pack of face masks at the Dollar Tree. Yes, five face masks for one dollar these are purifying charcoal masks by the brand Luxima so here's what they look like you get five of those and it says made in Korea and Korean beauty products are like especially like their skincare is like the best so five face masks I'm just gonna say it again for one dollar I picked up this charcoal beauty sponge or beauty blender, whatever you want to call it. I buy the Real Techniques beauty sponge. I feel like that one has worked the best for me, but I pay like, I think it's like a little bit under $5 for 90 something at Walmart for a sponge. So I, if I can find a replacement for a dollar that works just as good, then um, I'm gonna do it, but I can't wait to try this out and see if it's as good as my Real Techniques sponge. This is by Sassy and Chic. And the very last item I picked up was actually for my husband. It's these eyebrow scissors with the comb at the end. My husband has big, beautiful, bushy eyebrows, and um, sometimes they get out, a little bit out of control, and so he trims them. But I bought these for him. I wish they had a blue one. Um, but I, I don't know if he's going to use these. He's probably going to be like, pass when I tell him. But I don't know. I thought this was a really cool idea with a um, little brush at the end. So you could comb up your eyebrows and then trim them. So picked that up. All right, you guys, that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I know it was massive, um, but again, leave me that chicken emoji if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching me and supporting my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful work week. And if you do like Dollar Tree hauls, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of every time I upload a new video. So again, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Bye.